how to add subtitles to a Facebook video automatically. Around 500 million people watch Facebook videos every single day, but around 85% of that audience don't watch videos with the sound on. Therefore, adding subtitles to your Facebook videos is a great way to increase views and engagement. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload your video to an easy online editor, how to change your video to the best Facebook video shape, how to add automatic subtitles to your video, and how to export the final product. So without any further ado, let's get started. First things first, open up your internet browser and head over to veed.io. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free, and I've left a link to veed in the video description. When you're set up on the home page, select upload your video, then upload a file, then select your video from your computer and hit open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see your video sitting down in the video timeline. Now, as you can see, I've recorded this example clip in the ideal aspect ratio for a YouTube video, but we're making this for Facebook and most people on Facebook watch videos on their phone. So I'm gonna change my video shape into a square, which is much easier to watch on a mobile screen. You can change the video shape very easily using Veed just by going to the project settings over on the left hand side and in that top drop down menu under size just click it and select square. And as you can see that has automatically changed the shape of the video canvas into the ideal shape for Facebook. Now you can choose to leave your video with the borders on the top and bottom but I'm going to fill the frame just by selecting my clip and then clicking and dragging the corners like so just to expand it and fill the frame. And now we're ready to add some automatic subtitles. Go over to subtitles in the left hand toolbar, then select auto transcribe. Now select the language that you speak in the video, mine is English, and then hit start. The software will now listen through your video and detect all of the speech. And when it's finished, you'll see that the text has been transcribed over on the left hand side, and some subtitle text boxes have been dropped on top of your video in the timeline. Now you can watch through your video and check for any errors in the transcribing process and you can manually edit any words that is picked up incorrectly just by going to the text boxes over on the left hand side and just clicking and typing to change any errors. You can also adjust the timings for when your subtitles appear on screen just by going down to the video timeline, selecting a subtitle text box and just clicking and dragging the ends like so and you can also click and drag them around the timeline. When you're happy with the written text and timing of your subtitles, you can also change the way they look. Just go to styles at the top of the subtitles menu and here you can change the font, you can change the size of your text, you can change the color like so. And by scrolling down this same menu, you'll see that there are a lot of different presets that you can apply to your text just by clicking on them like so. And over on the video canvas, you can click and drag your text box around the screen to place the text wherever you want it. One other cool thing about Veed is that you can translate your subtitles into another language, which can massively boost your audience. Just go to translate at the top of the subtitles menu, then select add new language. Make sure translate from original is selected and then hit next. And now you can choose a language from the menu here. So I'm gonna select Danish and then select translate to Danish. And in just a few seconds, you'll see that my subtitles have now been translated into the Danish language, which is a really cool feature. When you're finished editing, go to the top right corner of the screen and select export and then export video and Veed will start rendering out your file. On this next page, you can review your final video by pressing play. Hello guys, this is just a quick example to show you why you should add subtitles to your Facebook videos. I'm happy with that, so I'm just gonna select download MP4 on the right hand side, which downloads my finished video to my computer. And that is how to add subtitles to a Facebook video. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.